Hello, 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 and welcome back to another episode of Vault Hunters. So, I've been doing some stuff in between. We actually met a wandering trader and bought ourselves a globe. So let's cut to that real quick. Hello, quick, quick cut into whatever video this is going in. Um, I look like a mess, ignore that. Uh, it's just because I've been doing some off-camera work and I found a wandering trader that turned up. Um, so, we've got some emeralds because we've been doing off-camera trading and whatnot and I want that globe. I want that globe badly. Let's grab that and maybe grab an acacia sapling and then we kill. This axe, by the way, so good. Um, and now we've got some leads as well. Lovely. So we can actually capture this boy and put him somewhere. But anyway, I just wanted to go through that so we can we can have a little clip of me doing that. And yeah, then we've been doing other little bits. So I moved everything in front in the end. I decided I just wanted to get rid of the mound of dirt that was here. So I kind of flattened it. I moved the trees from over there over here to make it a little easier to harvest. Um, we got a we got this from the wandering trader. You would have seen that. Um, I then oh no, okay, it's fine. Oh, it's not loaded. And cha. Um, I then just did a little bit of work on the farm just to kind of big it up. So we did have the beetroots on the little farm over there. So I've now made them a big farm. We've got the cactus growing. Uh, we've got the carrots, potatoes, wheat, uh, pumpkins, melons, sweet berries, and lots of sugar cane. And while we were doing this, I decided to set up a little guy here, and he sells us all sorts of things. I would have preferred a pumpkin trade, but win or lose, we've got potatoes, carrots, and we can buy all sorts from him, including gold and carrots, which is nice. Um, and then I decided to, one, I've been, while I've been doing all that farming, I've decided just to try and breed up a, a mega chicken. Uh, so currently 408 there. Uh, he's only getting bigger. We're going for a thousand. Um, but while we were doing that, I also decided I would work on the other villagers, the ones we had in here. And that's why you can hear all of these noises. We've got ourselves just a Fletcher to sell sticks to. This guy, because I was hoping for an Ender Pearl trade, but we get the Bottles of Enchanting. Um, I might do another Cleric to try and get, like, here to try and get an Ender Pearl trade. Uh, we've then got an Efficiency 4 guy. Um, and he also does Punch 1. Kind of pointless, but he does Bookshelves. And we've got a Mending guy for very cheap. Nine Emeralds for Mending. So very happy with that. Um, I did this off camera because it was just going to be a lot of like cycling through trades until I got what I wanted. Um, I also did some mining while I was off camera just to get some more goodies. Um, and I'm trying to repair this pick which I enchanted with mending. We're going to do some enchanting this episode. Um, actually, let's do it now. So, we've got the efficiency the mining speed and the chipped jewel that we're going to put all on this pick. So we're going to do this, which now reduces its capacity, but increases its mining speed. Then we're going to do this for four levels, which will make it even faster. I should have just probably regular enchanted that. That's really annoying. Um, Oh well, I guess. Um, it is what it is. Uh, and then what we'll do is, I think, if I'm correct, we can enchant the Volt Axe. So let's enchant that. Looting three, knockback two, and breaking three. Not bad. Um, actually, not bad at all. And while we're at it, let's enchant one more piece of gear, maybe? Respiration 3 Aqua Affinity? Sure. Um, let's just do it all. Uh, limited enchantability. We can't seem to do the pants for some reason, but that's fine. 
Um, I don't mind. I don't mind that. That's um, that's gonna do us quite good. We could maybe just for the sake of. Uh, do I waste it? I don't think I do. I don't think I'm gonna waste it. I might though. Um, no, I don't. I don't think there's anything else I want to enchant um, right now. Because if you go below thirty, obviously you can't do the level thirty enchantments. Um, let's put this away for now, and let's talk about what we're gonna do this episode. Oh yeah, did we want to put anything else on there? Does this add plus three, or does this make this a? What would that make that? Eight point seven. Oh wait, see, so it does add plus three. Maybe that's worth it, just to really speed it up. Let's do it. Let's get plus three on there. So now this will be a really fast pick. Let's see if I can find just a little bit of stone, just to see how quick it is. Oh, that's quick. Okay, that's really good, because that's what we want for spawners in the, the dungeons. Um, so perfect. What we are planning to do this episode is though, um, for now I'm going to go and put that in our, I'm going to put that in our thing here. Uh, let's take that out, let's take that out. We need to process a little bit more of this anyway. Um, let's put all of that in there. What our plan is I think for this episode is we'll set up a crystal to see if we need anything because we might need to go and find some stuff for it. So I've actually moved all of the vault stuff over here. Um, so we need four of these and one of these. Oh yes, also we're gonna make a bounty table. Um, as you can see in this top bar here, I've, I've put some things up here. Um, mostly it's the ability to make a knowledge star because we could do with getting into some mods. Um, the bounty table, which will give us more loot at the end of a vault. Uh, and let's make a vault shard as well. Uh, let's put this in here. Uh, put all of this away. We don't have the room to put it away, I see. Uh, take that out for a second. Do that, there we go. Um, so now we have a bounty table as well. So we can put that here. So the bounty table, you get stuff for doing stuff in vaults, so this will make more sense in a second. Find seven silver scrap in the vault, and that will get us a shield, uh, seven vault silver, and some painite. This one is mined for Beniatite, that'll get us some diamonds and some vault bronze. And this one is complete a vault, which will get us a sword, some steel, and some bronze. So I'm going to take this one, even though completing a vault we might not do, I know we've been very lucky to complete the first two, but I would like a... Uh, well, actually, we, we've we got a sword. Maybe I abandoned that one. Oh, I didn't realise it was going to just throw it away. Oh, uh, that's a bit annoying. Um, shoot. What's silver scrap again? Do we have any silver scrap? Is that silver scrap? Do we have any silver scrap? Uh, I don't think we do. I don't think we've ever found any of this. Um, that's bad. Um, well, we've kind of we've kind of scuffed this now um, because I don't think we ever mined any beniatite. But we can look for beniatite because we could do with the diamonds anyway. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have a look at what we need for this. I think this is actually all doable. Let's have a quick gander. So we need sand, which I don't want to be that guy, but I think I recently smelted it all. Um, which is going to be very annoying. But we're, we're heading off anyway. Uh, one, two, three, four, oh, five. Uh, five more, two carrots, one sand. Got it. Uh, two carrots, which we can probably do from here. No, we can't. Okay. Uh, let's go harvest a couple carrots real quick. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, only one. Three, there you go. And we'll eat one for the sake of it. Uh, ba, 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 ba. 
We come over here and we'll do one, two, and then we just need one sand, which is a little annoying because, as I said, I, I think I just smelted it all to make glass bottles to sell, <laughs> which is very classic um, because we don't have that much sand nearby. Um, I normally go quite far away for it. This axe, by the way, so strong. Like, insta-kill. Basically, if I if I crit, it's an insta-kill. Armed with the looting, we're going to get lots of stuff, aren't we? Yeah, lovely. That'll do us good. Um, how have we lost a level of experience? Did we lose a level for the... For dismissing that um, objective in the thing. Is this actually sand? Have we been going so far away for sand when it's here? I think it is. I feel like a bit of an idiot, but we only. <sighs> Come on, don't do this to me. Not like this. Not like this. Not like this. There we go. That's fine. We only need a couple sand, don't we? That would be good. Um, I'd like to not sleep. Because I've realised I can make an elytra in this pack. Um, which would be really handy. Um, if you look... Uh, oh, elytra? We can actually make them with phantom membrane, magic silk, vault essence, and string. Which we have all of this. Besides the phantom membrane. So, a couple nights not sleeping, kill a phantom or two, and then we can, um, we can fly around. Because I'm going to spend this next skill point, I think, on getting dash. Which, combined with an elytra, will give me the ability to kind of fly around very easily. Um, we can actually spend that now while we're waiting a little bit. Um, so we want dash. So this propels you in a direction that you're facing. Um, so if I... Uh, oh, I just used it. Shoot. I forgot the buttons. Um, cool. Uh, so we've got our sand. Let's chuck that on. And now our vault is ready. Uh, let's just put this away. But we're not going there yet. I think the plan initially is to do this. We've done the villager trading because I did that off camera, so that's cool. Um, but we need to go and raid, uh, not HM, we need to go and raid this place. Because what I've learnt about villagers is if they're a nitwit, uh, they can't do anything. They can't learn jobs, they're just useless. And I'd like to fill downstairs up a little bit. So, I think the plan is, and we could maybe, depending on how quick this horse is over here, we could maybe uh, kind of ride the horse over there, maybe. <laughs> Just give him a load of apples. And then... Come on. Come on. And he's been with us this entire time on the top of this mountain. Yes? Yes? Friends? Friends? Not yet. Friends? Question mark? Friends! So then we can check this on him. But you know what? He is a little speedy, actually. Let's take him off of the... Oh, let's take him off of this for a second. Oh, he's not bad in speed, is he? What's his jump like, wait? His jump's okay. Two block jump. I think we're gonna take this boy over there. Uh, we need a good place to cross with him. I think there. Although, going down this mountain is gonna be a little bit annoying. Because, of course, they don't swim well. Um, so if I can... Get him just on the land. Ah, almost. Pull him across the water real quick. Take the lead off. Oh, take the lead off. 
get back on, and let's ride over to this village. Oh wait, I wanted the bloody... I wanted the, um... The, what's it called? The box. The box and stuff. Ow. Oh, we should equip our shields as well. I wanted my, um... Shulker box, that's it. Because we might loot a lot of things from over there. And if we do, I want to have as much inventory as possible. Uh, we need to really fix this mountain as well. But I mean, if we can get the elytra, it won't be as big of a deal. So I should be able to... Oh, well. It doesn't work when there's blocks in the way and stuff. Okay. Oh, well, actually, we need to empty this first. Just chuck it anywhere right now. Uh, almost. Almost empty. There. Okay, empty. Besides the pick. Yeah, that's fine. Um, because what we'll do is we'll, we'll go and raid this village, and then once we've raided the village, we will come back. The shield is putting in work, I tell you what. Um, we'll raid the village, we'll come back, we will then do uh, a... Uh, what's it called? A vault. I'm losing my mind today. I'm really sorry. Um, we'll do a vault, and then we should be good. This should be a, a good episode. I'm going to try and keep it to, like, one objective um, per episode, and then one vault if I can. Um, and as you've probably seen by now, I'm going to do some vaults in between and stuff. Look how close this was. Oh my god. Um, we probably just about saw this when we were picking up all our animals. But we're basically going to come in here and steal all of the occupants and anything good they own. Um, so, let's go raiding. I could do with a fence post to tie my boy to. Uh, any fence posts out here, guys? Nope. Cool. Well, oh, there's one. Let's do this. Don't go far. Cool. Right. Into the first building we go. What's in here? We might take the books. Um, let's see. Empty map. I reckon that's fine. Uh, oh, we did bring an axe. Nice. Because the vault axe doesn't actually work as an axe. If you look, that was how quick an iron breaks. This is how quick a, a vault axe breaks. I mean, it doesn't take any durability. So it's not the worst, but the iron axe is a bit quicker. Uh, looks to be everything in here. Raiding party, out. Back in. Uh, oh, there's lofts. Oh, they're good. Nothing worth taking. I'm not, I'm not trying to take everything. I'm just trying to kind of look for villagers mostly and maybe books. but you never know. See, like, rabbit hide we could do with taking, because we don't have any rabbits yet. That's something we need to look into. Um, getting more animals in our animal pens as well. Ooh, golden apples. Very good, because they're actually really expensive to make. Um, so that's a really good treat to find, actually. Let's uh, continue raiding. We should probably try and mark these buildings by which ones we've been into so far. Nothing. Okay. So we'll get our um, our skill of doing our skill of looting up a bit, I imagine, because we we need to be as fast as we can looting in vaults. Uh, next building. I've not seen a village. There they are. Okay. Cool. That's one. Two. Three. We'll take these looms, sure. And cauldrons. Why not? Oh, lovely. Is this a nitwit, though? Yeah. Um, it's just going to try and leave them in the furnace. We just don't need them. They, they can't do anything. I don't think they can breed. I don't think they can do anything. So it's 
almost redundant picking them up. Um, nothing in here. I've been enjoying this though. Um, uh, playing a little bit in between, obviously. I've really been, um, really been having fun playing this, and I've been enjoying the making the videos for this as well. I think they make for fun videos um, just to show off what we're up to. Oh, very rich. Um, they make for good videos, I think. Um, and as we progress a little further as well, it's going to get even better. So I can't. Can he complain? I can he complain? Okay. Uh, I think that is everything going this way round. We're not going to go into the castle just yet, because there are a couple more houses to check. Is that another nitwit? Yeah. I'm just going to despawn them for the sake of not having them... Where's the way into this house? In the, the way of, like, seeing them and getting excited there's a villager. Leather will take. It's always good. It was something, it was interesting to learn though, that, uh, oh, another three, we'll take the stake. Um, it was interesting to learn though that um, that's a mechanic. I don't know if that's vanilla or if that's like um, uh, vanilla or not, but learning that you can't actually uh, use the nitwits for anything, I was just a bit surprised by, but it's, it's cool to be fair. I think like I don't know. It, it's interesting, because as far as I'm aware, the way they get produced is if a baby is born and it doesn't pick up a job, it, it will produce a nitwit, from my understanding. Um, so, like, in generic villages, there must be a fair few that spawn off the bat sort of thing. Uh, what is this? Have we been in here? I don't think we have, but I don't think there's anything in there anyway. Uh, but, 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 but we need villagers. We might eventually have to keep two and set up a breeder. Baby, let's tighten in my inventory as well. <laughs> How cute. I wonder if it will grow up in my inventory or not. No. Um, let's keep exploring. Oh, I hear someone making bottles. There you are. Lovely. And this guy as well. He's actually giving a sermon. Uh, we could probably do with just chucking all the villagers in to our box. There we go. Ooh, we could do with a bell as well. We, uh, we had a bit of an accident with a creeper. And we lost our bell. Um, very sad. But I will replace that now, which is good. A uh, little... Iron boy. Oh, you see a villager. He's doing a bad job of protecting them because he doesn't know that I can just shapow. Steal them. Nothing useful. Uh, this guy. Rabbit hides. Just trying to make sure that I've got things for um, vaults, obviously, because as I said, like everything's useful. And if it goes, oh, you need 13 rabbit hides or something, I'll be like, oh, shoot. I should have taken them. Save me running all the way back here. Because realistically, I'm, I'm enjoying living in the village that I'm in right now. I think if I moved here, it's going to be too big. Um, and I'm just going to feel a bit overwhelmed with the sizing. Where are these boys? I hear them. Down here? No. Upstairs, another level. Here. Thank you all. I'd take the beds if they stacked, but of course they don't, so a little bit annoying. Uh, okay, I think that's this house cleared. Unless there's a little chest under here. No. I thought maybe there was going to be a little secret hidden chest under the stairs. Uh, and I think that's everything outside now. Oh yeah, I found a zombie spawner as well while doing some of my mining. Yeah, that's everything outside, so let's now go into the castle. Okay, we're in now. Let's take the wheat. We can always use this. Oh, I can probably show you the dash in here a little better as well. It's actually not bad. Um, let's, let's do that. So when you're ready, you can just... 
there's a little jump to start with, obviously, at level one, but it'll get better. Um, okay, cool. Nothing useful in there. Let's now keep moving through. Ooh, lovely. We'll take all of that, actually. Um, I will take that, because I don't have one of those. I will take that. Greed is good. Uh, was there another way to go? Oh, another bell. Bells can also go into um, vault crystals. So again, it's another thing you need to make sure you're looting away. Oh my god. Oh, hello. Okay, so we came in here, we went this way, we came out this way. Got it. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I think that's everything down here, right? Yeah, okay. Moving up the stairs. Hello, you're mine now. Uh, let's, again, just make sure we put everyone in their box. That's cute. A little cake. Little cake. Uh, was that a spawner? Oh no, candles, okay. Uh, nothing useful there. Take that, take that. Take the glowing frames, sure. Uh, we'll take that as well, why not? We need to go to the nether at some point actually anyway. So, probably not the worst idea to, to actually start grabbing stuff like flint and steel and more iron, uh, not more iron, more obsidian. I was thinking about doing it this episode, but as I said, like I, I kind of want to do things one at a time. I don't want to fill an episode with loads of stuff because then it's going to make the editing really difficult to actually give you guys a, an interesting episode that's not super long. Uh, oh, oh, nothing up here. That's fine. Eek. Uh, oh, okay. We need to be on this floor at least. Uh, ba, 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 ba. I thought there was a big throne in here somewhere with um, loads of emeralds. Okay, we haven't been to this room. Oh no, we have. We just missed that chest. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I thought there was supposed to be a big throne. Maybe, maybe not in this size. Maybe it needs to be a bigger size. I don't know. Uh, we'll come back down quickly. Yeah, because there's nowhere we've missed. Okay, well, we've cleared the village. Uh, I think we've got everything that was good from here. We can now go and whiz on back on our good old steed. Hey, did we get another lead then? We must have done. Because he's still leaded up, right? Yeah. Uh, need to have an empty hand. Don't I? Oh, we got it. Okay, cool. Uh, and away we go. Let's have a little explore while we're out here. See woo, what's going on. Not a huge amount, to be fair. It's kind of a, a little bit of a dead area. Thought we were going to take damage there. It's fine. Uh, we do have some golden apples though. We, we did come out of that quite well. Um, oh, he is fast, you know. I'm making this distance in no time. Okay, we're going to probably end up having to lead him, but that's fine. Come on, horsey. Come on. There we go. Take the lead off. We've got our two leads. Let's see how well he climbs the mountain, because as you've seen, we don't climb it that well. Oh, do you know what? He makes... He does make it quite easy. There we go, and we're up. Oh, I see you. I see you, zombie. Dismount. Attack. We missed. Not back and looting, though, is going to make this really helpful in vaults, actually. Uh, let's take you back to your home. Oh, well, actually, let's put our bell back. Ding! Yay! 
Achievement get. Bell returned. Get out of here, Spidray. What are you doing? Cool. Uh, we need to tie you back up. Eat a pie. And let's put away some of our stuff. In fact, what we can do is we can come downstairs, put this here. I've made it so that we can protect them all. Um, oh my god, I need to check on the farmer. He's the only one that's outside and a little bit more exposed than everyone else. Uh, and it does worry me that if I leave the flap up, they're going to batter him. He's fine for now. There you go. He's safe. Um, just because I heard zombies and I was like, oh no, we need to name these guys. Drop in the comments a name for everyone. We can, we can slowly try and name everyone. Uh, let's also grab the jobs that I wanted for them. Uh, there we go. Uh, we can close this for now, because as I said, we, we kind of want to spend the night awake anyway. Um, so we did say it would be nice to have another cleric, didn't we? Uh, one of these guys was a cleric, technically, right? Or has he de cleric himself in my inventory? No, he isn't. There you go. Cleric. We can't cycle his trade. Oh, wait. I don't think you can cycle the cleric's trades. Um, so let's just buy some redstone off him to level him up once. I think it's level three that the um, we're able to get the, the trade that we technically want to see. Sell gold, buy lapis. Okay, so we'll probably sell some gold to him because I think we do have enough upstairs to sell. Uh, I'd like to kill whoever's out here. Where are you? Get out of here. Uh, we don't have enough rotten flesh to sell to him yet anyway. Um, oh, we've only got one gold. Cool. <laughs> Pointless then. Uh, we'll probably buy some lapis instead. That's going to be the easier bet, I guess. Um, but yeah, this is kind of what I'd be doing. Um, just leveling them up a little bit. Give us an ender pearl trade. Come on, my boy. Make me proud. Ugh, it's the same trades. You go back into my inventory then. And we're going to get another guy to become uh, a cleric. He'll become a cleric and we won't trade with him right now because we need other things. But we'll give him a go at some point. Um, we could do with a... I believe... Well, we need a unbreaking guy, would be nice. Um, I like to make sure the table's facing them. Just, it's not anything reasonable, it's just for fun. Uh, there we go. Okay, and then we'll get this boy in here. Respiration, yeah, and then it's just cycling. It's just waiting for the right thing. It's nothing thrilling, to be fair. Looting two would be nice, actually. It's quite cheap, but... Fortune is what I'm kind of after. It's either fortune or uh, unbreaking. Potato recovery. Not sure. Um, but yeah, so we won't, we won't do this on camera. We'll probably then uh, try and get the rest of these guys to have some sort of job. We'll get a chest. For How the hell did you get in here? Oh, we left the door wide open. Yeah, that'd be my bad. Um, we could do with another chest. Any wood? Besides the hundreds of trees that are growing in front of me. Just don't really want... There you go. It's fine. Don't want to go chopping trees down. I'm glad I made them in the basement, though. Because it seems like they're going to be safer there. Um... There you go. This axe, honestly. The first time I took a hit with it. So happy with it. Let's do this. Let's chuck all of the jobs that I want for them in here. Uh, what we can do, actually, we've got a lot of books on us, is we could break down these two real quick and sell them to our boy over here or this one. This one, probably, because he is the one that's underleveled currently. And there's a, there's a likelihood we could get unbreaking from... Oh, well, the... 
wasn't all it cracked out to be, was it? <laughs> but then we can come here again and we can we can rinse and repeat. Until eventually we achieve whatever we're trying to achieve with this. Um, but yeah, let's let's move all of these guys over. Uh, sort of entry. There you go. Because we need this box back for our vault anyway. Uh, let's put that in there, that in there. And then we will keep the stake on us for the vault. Uh, we will keep this stuff. We need blocks for the vault. Um, let's eat this real quick. And let me take a second to get ready for the vault. And then we will jump right into it. So, we need to... Oh, we can take that downstairs, actually. Um, we're just running out of chest space, honestly. Currently, what I've been doing is just making chests every so often. And just, like, dumping stuff in there. Um, insert whatever we can. Uh, let's take that out. Let's put that in there. Let's just make another bit of a dump chest. Have a quick look at what we've put in here. I know we're going to want the arrows back, so we've got that, that, that. Uh, we've got our actual pick actually in the. Did we take this from out down here? No, we didn't. Let's take this out. Swap these over. There we go. I think also boosting this first pick to be really fast is the better choice currently. Um. We can then, uh, da, 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 da. we don't really ever use torches in the vault, but we need blocks to sort of mark our way. So let's do that. Uh, I could do with some more. Let's just take some dirt for the sake of it. Um, and I think we're ready there. Can't think that we need anything else. So what are we trying to do? Benny a tight ball, that's fine. Let's press the button now make our crystal and let's jump into a vault we should hopefully be able to get some good experience out of this and maybe we can do some more enchanting um, if we can finish it that would be wonderful maybe we can get another piece of vault gear that we're looking for Ooh, very pretty so we're heading west again um, so that's fine let's head west we're going to try and remember as much as possible to mark our directions as clearly and easily as we can. Two monoliths again, which is really good. Um, so remember, we can always use our... Oh my god, that was the wrong button. Observer. Um, and have a look for anything in here that is a obvious green mark but there's nothing um, so that's fine so instead we would just do regular little bit of looting if we find anything here's some loot already oh my god oh my god he was he was a little bit brutal um, but that's fine we've got some extra health anyway so we'll, we'll dig up these money piles we should probably just more aim for the monoliths. I think early game aiming for the monoliths is probably the easier bet. I hear a slime. Slimes are bad because if you kill them, they just drop a. Um, they just drop a poison cloud, which is not great. We don't really want to be poisoned. Poison. Poison. Okay, lots of spawners here. Let's try and take this methodically. What are you, a gummy bear? Okay. For now, we're just... Oh, lovely, our second shulker piece. Okay, that means that already this vault is probably very worth it for us. Because... Oh my god. Gummy bears. What's happening? Is there a spawner still here? No, it doesn't look like it. Technically, I think we can... No, we can't. Not these ones. Oh, okay. I see you. 
I don't know why this is a a gummy vault. Um, I need to remember to keep healing up. Oh, this is so much fun. Just the, the looting aspect alone is great fun. Um... Where the axe is making the vaults a bit easier because we're not having to do as many swings to kill people anymore. And the knockback's actually very helpful. I forget that we've we've just got knockback on this. Uh, nothing's trapped, so we're nice and safe just to kind of easily loot right now. Um, okay, cool. So, oh, there's a. A uh, monolith? Not a monolith, a uh, thing. What is this? Refills your mana. Oh, okay. So let's do that at least, and we'll just take the refill. We need to move on to another room at some point. Okay, cool. I don't know if all spawners right now are... Um, fizzle spawners, because I'm low level, or what, but I'll take it. It's not going to hurt me in any way. Uh, let's just throw out the sticks for now. Uh, and that. And what else is useless? These two blocks. Just trying to make sure we get as much as possible out of this. Uh... Ooh, sneaky. Uh, break that. Silver scrap. Oh, that's very annoying. We've, we've spoken about how we never get any of that. And now we seem to be doing fine. Let's start to put some things in here. Uh, that. Okay, cool. Um, and then just this one? No, we've done this one. I think that's all of the, the stuff down here. So we should head back upstairs. Yeah, let's go back up. I think we're doing quite well uh, at vaulting as well. We we probably take a little bit more damage than needed right now, but we're getting better. No one's perfect. Uh, let's have a little gander, and then I think we're going to move on, because I'd like to try and... We've spent five minutes here already, and I'd like to either A, get some ornate chests, get some more vault gear, or B, finish this vault. <gasps> Ah, oh, another shulker shell. That's really good. Okay. Oh, look at the speed of that. Look at the speed. Speed is key. Okay, so just like we did before, we'll go straight across again. Oh, did we do this over here? No, we didn't. Okay. I didn't think there was anything on this initial floor. Uh, nothing major. We could do with speeding this axe up. Cool. Keep moving, keep moving. Come on, we gotta, we gotta find some, some monoliths, if possible. We've got twenty minutes to find two. One every ten minutes, please. Oh, okay. This is a uh, two health points. We could do that. Grab the, the thing. Oh, I think this is one of like uh, this is like a rare vault that you get with all the gummies and stuff. Um, that's kind of cute. Now, now that I understand what's happening, initially confused, um, but that's fine. We could do with leveling up our heal actually a little bit. I think that's one thing that I'd maybe like to look into. For now, though, let's make sure that we're bashing some boys. I think that was Beniatite. Uh, what's happening? Leomar. Oh, okay. Not Beniatite. Beniatite. Oh, lovely. There's a monolith. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Good start. Good start. Maybe we leave this room straight away uh, once we hit this. 
it might be just worth to leave. Plus two regeneration per six minutes. Nice. Not six minutes. 60 seconds. You fool. Uh, let's see. Leomar. Oh, Benio type. There you go. Right? We're not getting it, though. Is it, like, not confirmed chance of getting it? There's one. Right? Benio type. We need four of those, technically. Uh, just have a quick browse. Not trying to stay here too long. Ooh. Canite, maybe? Don't know. I think that's everything we're getting from here. Yeah, cool. So we've got one obelisk already. A uh, monolith, sorry. Not obelisk. Realistically looking for shulker shells. Uh, take that. Oh my god. Um. Right, there you go. Oh, we did get that pain out. Cool, okay. Uh, I think we just move on now that we've done this top section. If we find a, an obelisk, we should probably just keep going. Because we can always loot afterwards, but we can't loot... We can't find them if we lose, sort of thing. Um, so, speed is key a little bit. Because at least we're not hitting any four obelisk alter, um, rooms right now. Because that would be bad. Okay, right. Have a little browse. Nothing on this top floor. Let's see if I can observe her. Can't see anything? Okay, well, we're going to go down first. See if we can have a look down. Uh, let's make sure that we're back on to heal. Twenty-one damage. It's it's just good. Uh, do that. Do that. Hello. Any obelisks down here? That would be nice. I thought that wasn't a fizzle for a second. Okay. Jump hits are what we are about. Ooh, bounty pearl. Means we can re-roll, I'm pretty sure. Um, cool. Benny a tight, remember. Dark blue is what we're looking for if we can find any. Some sort of chocolate. Let's get rid of the chocolate water for a second. Nothing useful in here at all? Okay, pointless. A little bit of an annoying waste of time, but we need the Beniotype for our bounty, so if we could have found it, it would have been nice. Uh, I don't really care for anything over there, we're just going to move on. We'll go upstairs, check for a monolith, if not, move on. It's all about being a little bit ruthless at the start, especially when we've got the option to, what, get 5,000 experience? Has to be ruthless. Dead. Uh, and I, I can't be asked to dig the money pile. Okay, move on, move on. Uh, we need to keep going west, right? Thought that was the thing for a second. Yeah, keep going west. Speed is key, uh, and in, in that mentality, we can use our dash. There you go. See, with a bit of a jump and a sprint, it's actually pretty good. Uh, okay, obelisk. Look on the look on the bottom floor for a second. No observer. I don't know if that's actually doing anything for us, um, because I, I would have expected it to light that up. 
but that's fine. Let's just maybe quickly go and snag this. Four bonus hearts, sure. There it is. Okay, cool. That's the monolith done, so that's the room done. So now we just need to leave whenever we're ready. What's this room? Oh my god. Please no. Please no. Don't hurt us now. Uh, I do like the gummy bears. They are kind of cute. I'll give them that. They've done a good job with the models. Uh, we could do with putting more stuff in here. Let's put it down for a second. Yeah, so we can just quickly do that. Cool. And now we can loot a little easier. Perfect. Uh, we can really take our time now with this looting though, because we don't have to worry about finishing the vault anymore, because it is finished. We just need to worry about leaving when when the time comes. Um, and we've done a straight line anyway, so it shouldn't be too bad to get back. Just head all east. So now actually would be the best time to look for Beniatite or, again, Ornate Chests, but we haven't found a single bloody Ornate Chest. Oh wait, uh... Might be worth taking another... Oh, it's another silver scrap, which is really annoying. We probably could have completed that one. Um, I'm thinking about taking this. Um, we don't need the rail. I think having another one of those is probably quite good. Oh, so this... This, if you have the, this, there's special keys you can make. If you have a key, you can go in there, and there's really good loot in there. Um, but of course, we don't have the the key. Oh, another digging room though. Little digging spot. We might be able to get our Benia type from here. It will tell you in the vault when you complete it. A lot of Leomar, which, to be fair, we need anyway for the knowledge stars. So let's not be too mad. There's another Benia type. Uh, I think we need one more. And with this pick, very quick at finding, uh, but nothing. Okay. What are we at? Nine minutes? Okay, let's go back up then. So, vault completed, cool. Ow. Really bashed me a little bit there. Um, uh, and we're actually at the end of this corridor as well, aren't we? So, yeah. Oh, we didn't mark, did we? Not that it's that necessary, but... Uh, oh, 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 there you go. All east. Um, is there any up to this area? I don't think there is an up... To, well, there is up there. I don't see anything. Let's go back one. And we'll we'll pop, pop into the the sides. Let's do that, shall we? See if we can find anything good. Ow! This is where we're going to need to start remembering to mark, because if we forget, we'll get lost very easily. Although we know we only have to go to the middle, but still, middle row all the way east. But it's easier to do that because you start to panic when time starts to run down. I don't know how rare this uh, this room type is though. Like um, the, the gummy bear. Man, we missed like three hits there. Is that silver scrap again though? I was gonna say. Furious. Um, don't wanna, I, I like to find the the proper way down so that I know how to get back out really easily. <laughs> or else I'm going to panic down in a hole somewhere. 
No. Uh, there is an up though, right? Do you know what? We'll go to the other side. I can't be asked. That room didn't seem to have anything good in it, and we're realistically, at this point, all going for ornate. Uh, let's heal up. Those extra hearts actually help us tons. Uh, oh, we don't have our, our beef. There you go. Let's do that. Make sure that we're eating properly. We've got seven minutes, so we'll do this room probably, and then we'll start to head back, and if we have time, we'll do the rooms either side of the entrance. There you go. There's another one of those, but we don't need anything from here. Just looking for Nate. Nothing on ground floor, it seems. We'll start to head down. Oh, there's another monolith. Sweet. I don't think we can even activate it. No, we can't. I thought maybe bonus XP, but no. Uh, I think Vault Dust is very handy, but we just don't have the space. We'll have so much more room when we can make that second um, uh, shulker box. Oh, there's another piece of a shulker box. Have to prioritise that. Because if we can get a third shulker box, especially in just this one room. Regen, nice. Normally this would be quite good because I want a lot of zombie flesh right now for um, trading. But uh, the looting isn't helping us with that right now. What type of chests are these then? Are just regular? Yeah, pointless. Um, someone's drowning. I see normal chests over here. No one ate chests at all, though. It's very annoying. Uh, but yeah, so the, the fact that there's another monolith here shows you that sometimes there'll be more, sometimes there'll be less. So some vaults will end up just being easier because of that. Some will end up being... Oh, there's another altar actually there. We should probably at least do that. Because um, these are good for getting uh, totems done dying and stuff. Uh, two health points, that's fine. I think this is the second one of this type as well that we'll get. Uh, let's just chuck that in there. Any... Anything good? Mostly by that I mean shulker boxes. Nope. Just having a look around. I don't think there's anything. I think we should start heading towards the exit anyway. So we go this way one. And then we cross all the way east. So that way. Other way. Other way. But we'll know because marker. Yay! And this should hopefully level us, well, definitely level us up again. Um, I don't know how many levels we'll get, but I think we've got the four skills that I like the idea of right now. Um, I don't want to get too many skills, because of course you want to also level them up a bit more as well. Um, like, I'd, I'd maybe like to upgrade the heal, um, just because of course it's the most useful one. Uh, and I think it will give me more hearts and a quicker cooldown, which is both a win-win. Uh, I don't think there's anything in this vault that I really care to pick up either, though. Out of the, like, block palette. So, as I always like to do, let's chuck that down and go through. And we'll get our box. 7,000 experience. Let's have a little rundown here. So... Coin piles collected 13, chests looted 62, so 52 wooden chests, 5 gilded, 5 living, not a single ornate, a little bit sad. Uh, damage taken 25, but without our heal we would have died, uh, but damage given a lot, we killed 53 people in total, very nice. So let's do our 
looting. Well, so I think the easiest thing to do is to do uh, insert, because realistically none of this is normal stuff, but then we'll take out the stuff that is semi-normal. Um, but a lot of this is going to be uh, vault related. Like I'm not seeing anything that's really normal anymore in there. So that's good. We've then got this. Two shulker pieces. So we can actually just straight away uh, make ourselves another shulker box. Because this will make us even more OP. Uh, which is good. So let's just put this next to this one for now. Uh, let's uh, extract all, then just whiz through. Oh, we're already full. Um, well, we can take this out anyway. We can take this out. I'm uh, just trying to think of things we can remove. We can take this out. We can take that out. Uh, we've got so much stuff. Uh, I think that's all we can take out for now. Realistically, I should put that in there and that will stack anyway. That needs to go away, that needs to go away. This can all go into a different chest. That needs to go away, that needs to go away. Leomar as well. How many bits did we do? We did three out of four of the Beniotite. Very annoying. Uh, that needs to go away. And then let's roll these two first. Got some diamonds, oh nice. Two diamonds, very good. So we can chuck those away. We've actually got a little bit of a diamond stack growing, if you want to call it a stack. Uh, and then let's open the most important thing. Okay, a sword, a chest plate. Oh, this is good. Oh, and it's a rare plus chest plate. Okay, let's. it's going to be better than whatever we have right now because we're just using iron. So that's great. Uh, furnace transmog. So what is it? Well, let's do what we normally do. Uh, so currently 16 defense, 25 hearts for death. Well, I mean, uh, so this is an epic. It's great. Three armor, crit resistance, health, mana, item rarity, and soul bound. So that's going to boost us. Oh, only one point, but a lot more hearts overall. Can't really complain. Let's now roll the sword, which I don't think will end up being better than the axe right now. But we can always hope. If it was an Omega, it would be probably pretty good. Um, so it's Poison Cloud. So it gives us 23.6 uh, damage. Oh, it's, it was actually better, to be fair. Um, I suppose it's a level higher. So attack speed is quicker. Oh, and it's plus 2 attack damage, plus 3. I don't know, actually. I think for now we'll keep using the Axe. Um, but we'll we'll keep the sword in mind as a, a possibility. We'd need to enchant it though as well. Well, we could do that now actually. Looting three, it would get looting immediately, which is the thing I was worried about losing. Looting three and knockback. What did this one get? Unbreaking as well. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad. Uh, if we compare it now real quick, just to see if that made a difference. Uh, 23.6 to 18.9. It's a big, it is a big boost. Um, we might end up using this. Poison Cloud, Soulbound, Attack Speed. It just looks better, the axe, right? Uh, attack damage is higher, but this attack damage, it's maybe because the attack speed is higher quite a bit. Yeah, it's quite a bit faster, isn't it? Versus... Yeah, it is a bit faster. Okay, well, we'll consider that. We got some gems, so let's have a look at those real quick. Uh, so what have we got? We've got picking, ugh, very big gem. Coin affinity, very big gem. Vanilla immortality. So my understanding of vanilla immortality is if you can get 100% vanilla immortality, on a pick or whatever, it will never break, or it'll have men mending on it, I think. Item quality, item rarity, and it's quite small. Shoveling, quite big. We could 
we could put this on there and it's shining for some reason so let's do that let's put the item rarity on there oh so it's oh i see so it's a legendary it's a tier three and it's between 2.1 to 3 so actually quite reasonably on the high end um let's do that make our pick a little bit better for what we're doing with it uh let's put this in here let's now try and organize this the best we can coin affinity we'll go with these ones Vanilla Mortality can go down here. Item Quality. I don't know if you can combine these, actually. Let's see. Uh, no, you can't. I'm just curious. Um, that's fine for now. Kind of a bit of a waste, some of those. But we are now... Oh, Emeralds, lovely. And a... Uh, oh, a Relic. I was like, what's that? Useless. So that's another Relic. So that's from the Elemental Relic set. So we have the Cupcake... Uh, and the water, one of the water. So not enough to make anything yet, but we're getting there. Uh, we can for now just chuck, oh, not that, uh, this into here, just to have a bit more coins. Uh, we can chuck this in here, and we're looking good on stuff. Okay, so I think that's where we're going to call this episode. Um, we've done a lot, we've done enchanting. Can we enchant the chest plate actually? Let's see. But we can. So if I if I tick myself over to 30, let's take this, and then we can enchant thorns to. I mean thorns too is still good to be fair. I'll take that. It's still a it's still a buff. Um, it's annoying we can't enchant the leggings, but is what it is. So now all we're missing technically out of vault gear because we can we do the shit. Uh, because we've got the, the shield, we've got the rest of it, uh, we've got an axe, all we're missing is vault boots now. Man, these are about to die. Do you know what we could do for the sake of... Do I waste the diamonds? No. I reckon we just make another fresh pair of iron boots for the sake of it. Because uh, I'm hoping we will eventually get uh, some diamond boots. I don't know. Um, but we're looking geared out now. Oh, wait, back of our head, front of our face. Uh, look at us, we've got, we're looking big boy. The, the pants are probably the worst part. <laughs> but we're looking good. Okay, well, thank you for watching this episode, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.